Just Thank firstly so just saying, <laughs> I've been seated there and I have to just forgive myself and just say I'm so sorry that I judged because I came in here with such a judgment in my mind about this place, how it looked, and everybody in here. And that's the truth. And as soon as I started hearing stories what people have been going through, I started real realizing, wow. Like, we really don't have it. Like, we really don't know what we're doing. Like, if you ever think you know what you're doing in life, you really don't. And I love what you said at the beginning, because we, it, you don't know why you're here, but you know why you're here. There's a reason why you're here. And that's just life. That's just how it is. And so is business. You see, business, I want you to take out of your head intellectual knowledge. Because business doesn't run with intellectual knowledge. When you meet people, and when people buy from your services, they don't buy from you because you're smarter than them. They buy from you because they feel a connection with you. They buy from you because they're like, there's something about her, there's something about your product that's going to give me a solution. It's that simple. And everything that what I do is on the basis of just connecting. I'm a brand designer and I'm a spoken word um, artist. I'm a huge creative. But as everybody else here, I don't really have anything else to say. You guys have so much wisdom, and I just feel like, I'm, how much more wisdom can I give you? But I started from such a rejected beginning in my life. I was so rejected from the very beginning. Um, rejected from family, friends, jobs. I lost everything. Even my parents, I was rejected. And it really affected my identity. And like we all have in mind, we've all lost things. It doesn't have to be a baby, it doesn't have to be anything like that, but we've all lost something that really means something to us, and it can scar us. And the reason why I bring this up in business is because when you're trying to move forward, you can't move forward if you're still scarred. Okay, you can have the greatest business idea. You can be in your room and be like, great, great, like I'm ready. And like, like Dee said, like, and then what? Right? And then you can get the great marketing plan, and then what? The reason why you can't overcome that is because there are insecurities. And part of what I do with my clients is, I don't coach them, I just tell them how it is. Like, you are a bit insecure in this area, and that's okay. That's okay, this is what the world, this is what we go through. And that's why I say, take away intellectualism. If you want to do well in business, it's not about how smart you are, it's not about how good looking you are, it's not about anything like that. It's how willing you are to stay the course. Mm. And like Dee was saying, um, for all of you guys, the hardest thing is actually getting your business out there. And it's not a secret, guys. It really isn't. Literally, you might be seeing a lot of people posting online, and you're like, how are they doing it? You're watching how they're doing it. They're posting online. Mm -hmm. They're telling their stories. You know, they're literally, that's exactly what they're doing to get their business. The more you say what you do, the more you're going to get opportunity. And um, I just want to say one thing. Unless, um, I forgot your name, my dear, the lupus. Oh, Selena. Selena. Um, never take away intellectualism, what you're doing, by the way. Oh, no. Because, <laughs> like, it's 100% oh, needed. Um, but, yeah, when, when it comes to marketing, it can be the most simplest thing that we miss. Mm. Most people give up because they reach rock bottom and they stop believing in themselves. And I tend to meet a lot of clients and they come up to me and they say, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really feel confident. I don't really know how to put my brand together. And I don't know how to articulate myself. For you to come up to somebody and say that, you're fully aware of how to articulate yourself. Mm -hmm. You know how to present yourself. But you're just lost in the mix. Mm -hmm. And I'm not here to give you a pre preaching seminar. Mm -hmm. But everything that I'm basically going to tell you is what I've paid thousands for with a lot of coaches. I've invested over 10K with coaches. That people were looking for knowledge. How do I succeed? How do I get my business and marketing out there? You just have to believe in yourself. And it's a journey. You're not going to buy a product and it's going to be like, okay, write this product. Once I have the marketing strategy, I'm set for life. You have to walk the journey and it's very, very difficult. And so back to what I was saying, when you see people post on social media, it can be very intimidating because especially if you have to promote yourself, you have to get over yourself. You have to get over your own self of how you think you need to build your business. Your business and the way you market it isn't how you think it should be. It's how your clients tell, tell you how it should be. You know, I remember when I was starting my business and I was going through so much rejection and I started hating who I was. I'm mixed race and as most mixed race people, 
we get very confused. Like we get very, very, very confused with like who we are, what we are, and whatnot. But I got really confused when I was starting to build my business. Who am I? What am I doing? Blah blah blah. And it just clicked. It literally clicked. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody knows what cards you have behind your deck unless you start talking. And um, when you have a marketing plan, when you have a brand, nobody's going to know who you are unless you start voicing that. And a lot of the setbacks you've heard here today have come from real trauma. They've come from real, real obstacles. Everyone here has a story. And I really just want you guys each to know you are more than capable. Yes. You guys can be millionaires. Yes. Like you really can be millionaires. And I'm not just saying that. I've sat in rooms with millionaires. There's nothing different about each one of you. They sit like you, they eat like you, they do the same thing like you. But the difference is, is that they just wake up and go. They wake up and go and they don't let the no get them down. And so I'm not here to give you a marketing strategy because it's very, very hard to give you one because um, there are different types of levels. But one thing I can say, look at the, the businesses who you want to be like, just look at what they do and implement it. Do it for six months and you will get, you will get a result. You will 100% get a result. Free information is out there for you. So I'm gonna go back to the four questions. So I found my purpose in a lost place. I lost everything. Um, and what sustained me as well was my faith. It was Jesus Christ, he saved me. Okay, I'm not here to evangelize, but really I wouldn't be here without him. Like I, I literally was about to lose my life in every single way. And in every single way, I can't help but put him in my business. He is part of my identity. He is part of who I am. Every single client I get, I can't say yes to. Because I need to know what your intentions are. And the reason why I'm saying that is because just because you've started a business doesn't mean you have to say yes to every client. It's about knowing your value. It's about saying, you know what? I don't have to accept you. I don't actually need your money. I'm the one with the value. And so this is when it comes to sales. You get to a point where, who, who am I in a sales call? Am I going to be desperate for you? Don't come from a desperate place. You're not a beggar. You've got value, okay? You come from class. You're, you've got value, my dear. So don't, if they're on a call with you, they're the ones who need you. You don't need anything, okay? Um, and it's the very thing that, um, that really just made me realize how to build boundaries around my business, okay? So once I knew my identity, and what is an identity? I'm going to give you the basic um, educational thing about branding. Branding is what sells. It's not your marketing plan. Branding is who you are. Okay, if I have a product today, most people are really just going to buy something because they like me. They're just going to like me. Either like my, my smile, like the energy I give, whatever that is, it's because they like me. It's because I've developed my personal brand. What have I done behind the scenes? I've healed. I've had to be like, okay, Liberty, you can do this. No, like, you really can do, like, you can do this. Like, I've had to get in that closet and just get in there. What else have I done? I've just not cared about what people think. Mm -hmm. And that's what business is. That's the grit of it. When you get to a level where it's like, okay, um, this is what I'm going to do, guys. This is my business. And, um, you know, I'll be like, yeah, this is my support. <laughs> At some stage, you're going to have to say, yeah, this is actually what I do. Yeah, so, so, you know, like, mm -hmm. take it on you there. Like, yeah. it's literally that boldness. You're going to have to take that and sustain it. Don't get me wrong, have good values, have good character, it's very, very important, but it doesn't mean that you have to quiet yourself down during that process. Um, and so for me, being a creative was very, very hard. I'm a spoken word artist, I'm a graphic designer, I meet all types of people, the wackos, the woo-woos, the most sensitive, the most <laughs> lawful, everything, and we all have hearts. Like, we all have amazing hearts. We all have something to give to the world. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing that I've known is the reason why people go to coaches and services is because they delve an area in their life. Mm -hmm. Like, I was um, with Grace. Like, when I was hearing your story, Grace, honestly, it just touched me. Because there's a part of your story that I connect with. Am I going to buy one of your books? I 100% will because mm -hmm. it connects with something with me. Yeah. You know, you don't have to say anything more. But... The reason why I'm saying this to you is because your story isn't the end of, the story where you are right now isn't the end of your business journey. Mm -hmm. And being a creative is very confusing. I don't know how many of you in here have all these ideas, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna do this and that. Oh no, but I'm gonna look really good in that dress like once I've like, once I've done that. You know, like you've got all these great ideas and then you get to a point and you're kind of confused. Like, who am I really? 
because I've, I've been like that. You don't have to put your hand up, but I've been like that. And at the end of it all, you're still living that process. Each one of these ladies who come here today, they're still walking that journey. They're still having to grind in their business. Like, you can look at any business journey. Look at Nike. These big corporate companies are in debt. They're in debt. What sustains them is it's a system. There's a whole system in it. But thank God for personal businesses. You guys are the most profitable businesses in the world right now. Because everything that you get is going to be invested into you. Whatever you do to it, you can read back and invest it however you want it to your family or whatever. And that's why I say value yourself. Value your brand. Don't feel intimidated by what's out there because it's just a graphic. I do graphic design and when I do logos, it's what, what's funny. I know it's a real skill. People pay high end for, for what I do. But it, it is, it's just an image that people pay for. And people just want a bit of you in their life. That's all it is. Okay. Um, so how did I start my business? I started it online. I lost my job. So I was kind of like broke and I didn't know what to do. So I went into super graphic design and I started connecting and networking with loads of people online in America, in the UK, wherever. I didn't care. I was like, hi, yeah, no, my activity. And I'm here. I don't know how to start a business and network. And I literally, like, like a little kid, you run. Like, you don't know where you're going, you just run. Like, it's okay, do that. Don't go into a room and think, should I, should I get the bag? <laughs> no, like, run, like, run, do your thing. Because that's where you're going to learn. It's like a little kid learning to live life. They need to breathe. They need to know who they are. We need to fall sometimes, but then we still need to keep healing. And so that's going to give you a lot of testament in what your business is about and what your story is about. And, um, yeah, and um, so, yeah, didn't show me how. How to create a personal brand. So my involvement was from graphic design to a personal brand that I am now. I used to hide away from a lot of things, like very, very insecure child. When I say insecure, I was very, very shy because um, I had a lot of neglect when I was young. And it only took me now in the last year and a bit where I'm like, you know, I'm actually a personal brand. Like I actually like who I am and people like me too. And I'm not afraid to say it. Because at the end of the day, if I sell it, well, let's get the money going. Like, let's do it. There's nothing wrong with asking for money. It's, ha it's what we're, we're meant to be rich. Like, we really are. And anyone who tells you different is, yeah, you, no comment. So, um, so that's how you just keep building your life. Just keep making the mistakes you're doing. And I just really wanted to encourage each one of you. I've kind of kept off the script, but you all just have humbled me so much being here. Like... There's, I've been in rooms of people who are just, they think they've got it all together. And like, you, you guys really do have it together. Like, you guys really are aware of your journey than most people. Some people walk around with their high Gucci shoes and they're just like, yeah, no, I have this amazing business. And this is so amazing. And it's like, they'll go back home to their parents or to, to their feet and they'll start whining. But you guys are building your businesses. Do you know what that means? It means that one day you're able to hire people and to have true knowledge about what you're doing. And even if you're a bit confused, you're going to find your way through. You're going to just make sure you have the right mentors. So what have I discovered since starting my business? I'm just going to say a few things. Is um, You're not always going to get it right, and that's okay. Like, you're not meant to get it right. Like, if you were going to get it right, it would be very, very boring. In fact, you wouldn't be here today. Okay? Um, you don't have to follow others. Like, please don't follow people. Follow your instincts. Follow what is right for you to do. Um, I've, I've spoken to a few of you today and I've realized that some of you say, I'm not too sure how to start my business. That it is the most insignificant thing that you think is of value, is of value to other people. There's a, there's a market for everything. Like there's a market for Play-Doh, there's a market for people who review pens. Like you don't even have to sell a product. Like there's a market for it. Um, and you're not always going to be in a place where it feels good to start a business. You're not always going to feel good. But I just want to say, it's like when you're meeting someone, you're not always going to feel comfortable meeting someone. But you don't know where that relationship's going to take you down the line. So if you're starting a business or if you're in here today and you don't feel comfortable, you kind of got to get over it. Because when you, get, when you start a business for real, like when you get to like 10 years time and whatever years time, your, your feelings, you're going to become like an emotional machine 
because even there's, there's top entrepreneurs that I've served in their businesses, they've been earning over 60K, some, some millions, and they don't, the insecurities that they suffer is no different than yours, no different. The only battles that they struggle with is that they have to show a facade, and that's the truth, that's up to them. You don't have to show a facade, okay? You can always be yourself in whatever area you are in. Start a business in a mess and be a mess, it's okay. Um, there have been times when I remember when I was building my business, I was working from 9 a.m. to 3 a.m. My parents, they were very, very worried about me. But I was just like, listen, I'm a mess, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure this out. And I never figured anything out. I never figured anything out. But what I did figure out is I had to let it go. I had to stop trying to control what outcome I'm gonna get in my business let it go like just let it go i hope i'm speaking to a few of you because and if i'm not i'm really sorry okay um stick with what you love and you're passionate about i've heard that so much today and i'm just like i don't even think i think whatever i'm saying like i'm just adding an extra little sprinkle to the ladies because when you're passionate about something it's gonna last you already know that and when you're passionate about something you're able to evolve the ideas you're able to do something so just be confident that you know what i'm going to promote this business and i'm going to go for it i'm actually going to go for it and it doesn't matter if emily you know stops supporting me in a month's time or my husband doesn't care or whoever so like i'm going to go for it let me let me just bet on myself because in most cases in life you have to bet on, <coughs> sorry you have to bet on yourself um Life is really hard, guys. I don't know if you've noticed. Like, it's really, yeah, it's really, really difficult. Like, there's, there's nights that we cry, guys. Like, it's really, really hard. But the truth is, is that if you don't trust on yourself, if you don't bet on yourself, you're gonna, you're gonna be damaged. You're, you're really going to neglect yourself. So as well, as much as you take care of your mental health, your body, whatever, take care of your priorities. Put your business first and say, yes, you know what? I believe in what I'm doing. I'm going to go for it. I don't care what the world says. I don't care what voices say, whatever. I'm going to go for it. And I just hope that encourages you. Um, and use your authority. Um, I love what Grace said. You know, she said, books give you authority. Like, that's a great selling point, guys. Mm. Like, I don't know. Like, that's really the time you to get a book. Because it just really does. Like, if you want authority... Like, how many of you would allow someone to come into your house and just take everything? And just, and if you have children, just take your kids. None of you, none of you. The same goes for your business. How many days are you going to let it just slide by? How many days are you just not going to do the thing that you said you were going to do? It's the exact same thing. And it's probably a little thing. Maybe you're not posting online because you don't know how to articulate yourself. Just say something. Just say, hi, I'm really awkward. Just go on a Facebook Live or whatever and go, I'm really, really awkward, like, I don't know what to say, like, we're going to start this business. Okay, bye. Like, <laughs> it's fine, and people will love that, people will connect with it, and they will grow, and they will research people. It's okay, like, people are looking for authenticity now more than ever. Yeah. We're tired of the BBC news, yes, okay, yes. so we want to know about you guys, like, yeah. people want to know about you, okay? Um, and for me, spoken word is something that I've evolved this year a lot, because... Um, I too have suffered rejection, abuse, and things like that. And every single time I talk about spoken word and poetry, these foolish men would be like, what are you saying? Like, you don't know what you're saying. And I look back now, and I, honestly, the biggest thing I can say to you guys, whatever thing has been putting you down most in your life is the very thing where your destiny is. Mm. The very, very thing where you felt doubt and shame in your life is exactly where your destiny is. And whether you like it or not, it's, it's going to be part of your story. So if you don't feel confident about, you know, maybe the way you look, that's going to be used. You're going to have to show yourself on Facebook. Though. You're going to have to be like, you know what, I am beautiful, you know, or whatever that might be. And it might be quite harsh to deal with, and that's okay. You know, use your support around you, use people around you, but don't underestimate the very thing that you get attacked in life. Because... I believe, I believe in Jesus, I believe in God, and I believe it's the enemy. People say obstacles in life, whatever you want to name it, that's the very thing that the thing, the obstacle sees value in your life to attack you, okay? So please, if you feel uncomfortable, that's good. That's a huge, huge sign that you need to get out and just, you know, do your thing, okay? So the next thing is that the words that you say gear your audience. The words that you say gear your audience. Mm -hmm. And um, branding, part of branding, um, it's, think of it like a circle, okay? Branding is a huge circle. 
And at the end of the day, we want to fulfill a circle of selling. We want to sell, we want to market, we want to know how to articulate ourselves. And we want to, no, sell, we want to, yeah, sell, buy, buy, yeah, sell, market, and then um, identity. So it's a, it's a triangle thing, it's a trio. And so identity is the very, very beginning. You've got to know yourself. You've got to know how to articulate yourself. And you have to know what language your audience is saying mm -hmm. and what their keywords are. So when you're promoting yourself, you're hitting those buzzwords. So if I say words like trauma, I'll be real with you. Most of you will be like, yeah, I've been through trauma. Like, yeah, that's a selling point. It's not manipulative, it's the truth because I know what I give is going to help you. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. Manipulation is really going to hinder you. Okay, so you can tell whether someone's being authentic. Mm -hmm. So once you know the identity of a business or you know your business and you know your brand aesthetic and all of that, you're then able to work on your marketing. Now, a lot of people think that if I don't get a brand logo before I do my marketing, um, it doesn't really matter. It actually does because people want to see you as professional and reputable. And nowadays, brand looks at everything. Brand looks at everything. So know what your marketing plan is. And your marketing plan is literally your messaging, how you're articulating yourself, what you're, the way that you post it every day. Mm -hmm. So I'm partly a musician, so some of my posts are a bit musical, whatever. I know they're going to hit some young people, some mus musicians or whatever. If you're a dancer, you want to make sure, you don't want to be sitting on a chair and be like, yeah, I'm a Zimba teacher. And I've got a te no, you want to be like, hey guys, I'm a Zimba teacher. Like, I'm, you know, you want to get people in the mood, right? So you want to know how to articulate. That's part of marketing and bringing in the brand identity. And then there's the selling. This is the very beginning that I spoke about, your boundaries. Never be desperate for a sale because it shows you're classy, because we all want to be classy, right? Even though, you know, but when, when we're classy, right, people see value in it. You don't see Prada, anybody in Prada saying, can I help you? Can I help you? How are you doing? No, people in Prada are standing and they're like, yeah, we're worth thousands, if not millions. We're waiting. So you can be the same with yourself, okay? The reason why I've said that is just to take away your insecurities. Right. Like you are valuable. You don't need to worry about um, what people say. Okay, so the next thing is, um, yeah, just, just enjoy what you're doing and have a passion for it. Um, so yeah, I, that's all I really have to say. Like, I really am grateful. And if you guys have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer it. But yeah, go for it. Yes. Yeah, I do like you actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like you too. I like you too. <laughs> you are very good. You can say that. Oh, one second, you just had a question. Yeah. Talk about uh, to you. Yeah. You articulate your brain, your bones, can you go on camera? Yeah. And I like that. You're confident. I like that. Yeah. 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 But you, know, you don't have to be like this. I've met people um, who can be introverts. Mm -hmm. You know, they can do it in their own way. It's just being sure in yourself. Yeah. yeah, that's what yeah. it is. You know, it's an effort being me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's such an effort. It's just mm -hmm. like, yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> but, but it's who I am, so I yes. don't mind, right? Well, excuse me. Yeah, and so if some of you might feel like, you know what, like, liberty is this and whatever, and you might not even model me, like, don't model me, please don't. Yeah. Just be yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, be be who you want to be. But yes, yes, my love. You, you had a. Um... You know what you said, yeah, um, three areas for the triangle. Yeah. You're talking about seven identifying. Which was the third, you said? Yeah, so it's um, identity, there's marketing, and sales. So I call it the three trio. So identity, marketing, and sales. Do you have any questions about this? Obviously, I know what selling is, yeah. but um, in terms of the marketing, can you give a, a bit of light on that? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, um, do you have a business? No. Okay, are you thinking of having one? I'm not sure yet, but I, I was intrigued about this um, talk show, because you go there as my friend, and I know she's invited me to quite a few, and I have never made it, and I'm sure that I'll do it today. Okay, okay. So, obviously I have lots of business people around me. Whether I want to take on business, I don't know, but I'm intrigued in listening to people talk. Yeah. So I thought, okay, let me come around and see what's about. Okay. okay. I just want to be clear what, what you talk about. I'm going to ask one more question to bring it home for you. So um, what kind of talking do you like? Like what subjects do you like to talk about? What subjects? 
I'm very versatile. I'm not very fixed on things. Okay. But just as you said, some things would always resonate with you in mm -hmm. terms of trauma. Okay. Whatever you like it. We all have been through some trauma of some sort. Yeah. And my background, I'm a nurse. Not the best, like I've done so many different things, yeah. but I know that I do love to care for people. Yeah. And whether we like it in whatever shape, in the caring hotel industry, whatever the bottom line is, caring, you know, mm -hmm. in whatever way, like you said, your brand is you yeah. identifying with people. So I'm intrigued what the market bit is. I know what the ceiling <laughs> bit is because okay. in, in nursing, you would you have to sell certain things in okay. order to get so I just want to know. Yeah. Whether I'll do business along the line, I don't know. I'm sure you will. So, <laughs> I want you to. So, um, basically, the reason why I asked you that is because every marketing, every business has a different marketing strategy. Mm. So, um, I thought I could just give you a one to one, that's all. But um, when it comes to um, talk shows, when they market themselves, um, I guess on social media, if you're going to do it organically, there's a certain marketing process. If you're doing organic marketing, there's the basic types of marketing strategies posting every single day online, but with an intention. So I'll be very, very transparent. Every business owner should have quarterly um, plans. So every quarter you should have a plan, okay? And every single quarter should be a warm up to either get in a sale, engagement, or for events. Okay, so the first quarter, for example, could be to introduce your brand identity to warm the engagement up so people are aware of that. So that's part of a marketing strategy. If you're doing paid marketing strategy, most people are through Facebook ads, you're hiring someone to do it, and you're actually sitting down and you're thinking about who do you want to target to. And this is where it gets complicated. A lot of people execute a marketing plan, the to-dos, to get the business running or to get the client, but they don't research their clients. So research your clients, ask them questions, do demo interviews, get to know them so you can understand their language, you can understand what they actually want because you'll probably realize that the services that you're selling um, probably don't reflect their needs and you might have to adjust that. I don't know if that um, sheds any light. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's just really, marketing is complicated because everyone is so, I was telling Dee, like depending on your business, it depends what your marketing plan is. Um, I spoke to a lady, she's also a brand designer and she owns a hefty amount of money. She has a complete marketing strategy than me. And she's chosen that because she likes that marketing plan. So you can also choose a marketing plan that is of preference to you, that you can withstand. Um, I can see your eyes squinting. It's complicated, it's weird, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm more than able to ask, like, answer questions. I don't want to take too much time. But thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.